Hello, it's Jamie here from Cosmic Kids. I'm here to talk about our app. You can watch it on your computer or phone using your web browser or by downloading any of the apps which are included in your subscription. And we have these apps for iPhone, iPad, Android, Apple TV, Roku and Amazon Fire TV. To sign up, head to app.cosmickids.com. Yoga Club. Hello and welcome to Yoga Club. It's Jamie here and I'm here in the garden with the bugs and the insects ready to take you on an enchanted garden yoga extravaganza. But before we buzz off, let's have a few of your magical messages. Happy birthday to Hazel, who just turned two a few Saturdays ago. I hear how Hazel and her mum do yoga nearly every night before bed, and it gives them time to enjoy being together. Hazel always gets the mats out and has requested Winnie the Pooh as a yoga theme, which I would love to do. And more breathing would be something Hazel's mum would like to see. Well do have a look at the Zendens and have a try at the how to deal with nerves one. It's got a rather clever fun and breathing, nice breathing exercise in it that Hazel might quite like to try. Thanks for writing in. Hello to Caleb and dog Sunny who love the dinosaurs yoga. Great to hear that as I am now planning a new Jurassic themed one. Caleb and his dog are in Australia and, and they suggest that I do an Octonauts yoga adventure, which I would love to do. Thanks so much for writing and for sending your picture of you after doing your yoga. Hello to Z Yuna, who Z Yuna Jim, who is six and lives in the Philippines. It's lovely to hear you do the yoga every day, and I'm glad you do it with your mum too. Thanks for writing and sending lots of love to you both. Finally, a big hello to Raven and Willow. Raven will be five and Willow will be two, both in September. How cool! They both enjoy their yoga club on a Saturday morning after breakfast has gone down. Hmm, good plan. Raven's favourite yoga adventure is Moana and they would like to suggest a Billy and the Beast or Billy and the Dragon yoga. I need to have a look at that. It sounds absolutely wonderful. Thanks for writing in and for tuning in and wishing you both big happy birthdays for when they happen this month. Now don't forget you can email me your messages to yogaclub at cosmickids.com. I do read them all and you will get a shout out here on Yoga Club if you write in. Also don't forget to go try out the Cosmic Kids app on the app store or google play or just go to app.cosmickids.com if you like cosmic kids you'll find loads more yoga adventures that you'll absolutely love there and you won't find them anywhere else rightio now we're ready to flutter off and meet some friendly insects in our enchanted garden yoga club Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Ah! Butterfly Pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and joining the soles of our feet together, using our hands to snuggle them in a little bit more. Now we lift and lower our knees like there are butterflies wings fluttering around. Now butterfly pose is very good for opening our hips and stretching our inner thighs. It's also good for jiggling our insides around a bit to get everything moving, which is always a good thing. Now the other great thing about butterfly is we get to see what colour wings we've got by lifting up our leg nice and straight and having a look. Let's do it after three, ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Wow, we've got blue and yellow and pink. Oh, it's beautiful. Lowering it all the way back down. Let's have a look on the other side. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Green and purple and orange. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Lowering it all the way back down. Now, here comes the really challenging one. Can we lift up both wings together? Ready? This is a good test of our balance. Oh, after three. One, two, three. Ooh. Wow! All 
the colours of the rainbow. Goodness me, it's gone butterfly bonkers in here. Ah! Butterfly pose. Dragonfly pose. Coming down to lie on our tummies. We bring our hands underneath our shoulders and we lift up one of our feet. We point our toe to the sky and we use our other foot to scooch underneath our thigh, just above our knee to lift it even higher. Wow! Look, there's a dragonfly whizzing around. Oh, there she goes. Now, dragonfly pose is very good for stretching our thighs and our hips and strengthening our back. And it's also very good for our tummy ache. Let's see if we can do it on the other side. Lowering our legs all the way down, we lift up our other leg now, stretch it to the sky and using our foot to support it, lifting it up. Oh, here she comes again. Wow. Oh, careful. Dragonfly pose. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's have a little look through our cosminoculars, thumbs and fingers together, and see what our adventure is about today. Have a look through. <gasps> wow! Can you see that? That looks amazing. All those colours, those shapes. Cool. Ooh, can you see it? It's getting clearer. Oh, it's a stick. Just a stick. Oh no, hang on, it's a sting insect. It's Stella the stick insect. She's doing yoga. She's doing eagle pose. Wow, this is great. We're off to the park today to go and find Stella the stick insect. Let's begin our story lying in our beds. Lying all the way down. Make your body nice and long and relaxed. And we're going to pretend that it's a Saturday morning. Ah, bliss. We wake up and we stretch our arms and our legs. Oh. We come up to sit, crossing our legs and stretch again. Oh. Then we stand up and we fold all the way forwards, reaching our arms forwards to draw the curtains. Oh, it's a bit rainy today. Let's have a shower in the rain. Standing up, we pitter-patter all over our heads, that rain. All over our bodies and our arms. All over our tummies and our legs. Oh dear, we're getting a bit wet in this rain. So we rub ourselves dry using our hands. That's better. Time to go downstairs and have some breakfast. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. We sit down with our legs crossed and we reach up to get the biggest pot, bringing it all the way down in front of us. Now we're going to make some porridge. So we take our hand across to our knee and twist around to get our porridge oats. Here they are. Let's shake them in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Take your other hand across to your other knee and twist the other way. This time we need to get some milk. So we get our milk and we pour it in the pot. There we go. Now we need to stir it. So we take our legs out wide and we take hold of our stirring stick and we stir it, stir it. Stir it. We put that stirring stick down and we take our other stirring stick and we stir the other way. Stir it, stir it, stir it. 
Oh, it's ready. We cross our legs. We fold forwards, keeping our bottoms planted on the floor. And then we eat up our porridge. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. We sit up nice and tall and we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Oh, so, so clever. It's time to go. So we come up to two knees. We take our arms out wide and we give everyone at home a great big hug. Bye. Time to open up the door. We take our leg out to the side, our arm up to the sky and we fold down to the side. Ooh opening the door. Then we close it behind us, two knees together, leg out to the other side, arm up to the sky and close the door. Ooh. Time to get on our bicycles. We lie on our backs and we crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lifting up our legs. Then we have to pedal really slowly as we go up the hill. Oh, it's quite hard. Oh, now we're going down the hill. So we go really, really fast. <laughs> we arrive at the park. Let's go on the swings. We stand up and we bend our knees. We reach our arms up high. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! And up. And again. One, two, three. Whee! And up. This is great, but shall we go on the slide? Yeah, come on. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take your hands behind you, point your fingers in towards your bottom. Ready to go on the slide, ready? That was brilliant fun. Now, we see a little lake. Drawing the soles of your feet together, make a big diamond shape with your legs. On this lake, there is a tiny little boat. Turning yourself around, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands, and give me a wave. Hi! We row this little boat across the lake, legs out long, take hold of your oar and row. Let's sing our row, row, row your boat song, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone. Should we, should we answer? Hello? Oh, there's going to be a bug ball tonight. Ooh, we're invited. Mm, yes, we'd love to come. OK, yeah, see you in a minute. Bye. We put the phone down and we row with the other oar. Picking it up, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. What's the phone again? Can we answer this one? Hello? It's Stella the stick insect. Hi, Stella. Oh, you're in a bit of a pickle. Oh, all right then. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah, we'll help. Right -o. Okay, bye. We put the phone down. Poor Stella, she's in a bit of a pickle. When we get to the banks of the lake, we take big squadgy mud walks. Standing up, coming to the side, ready for a big squadgy walk. Squadge! And back, and again. Squadge! We come to a clearing. This must be where the ball's happening. We find all of the bees tuning up. Crossing your legs, take your fingers and see if you can close your ears and go... Like a bee tuning up to play its musical instrument tonight. All around we can see beautiful butterflies. They're going to be doing the decorations for tonight. Drawing the soles of your feet together, hold on to your toes and flutter your butterfly wings. There are also lots of rather wonderful caterpillars wiggling around. Coming onto your bellies, everybody. Hands underneath your shoulders, point your toes back. Oh, yes. I'm just trying out all of the leaves to check that they're going to be tasty for tonight. Mmm, these are really good. Mm. Oh, it's good we've got the caterpillars doing the catering. 
Next, we see the grasshoppers in the hopper hair salon having their wings trimmed and highlighted. Laying all the way down on your belly, take your arms out wide, bend up one foot and press it to the sky. Then see if you can use your other foot to hoist it up. Yeah, Sharon, I was just saying, that Stella the stick insect, she's in a bit of a flap at the moment. <gasps> we hear this and we wonder where Stella is. Swapping your legs all the way over now, lift up your other foot, press it to the sky and hoist it up. Oh yeah, Stella, she's over on that broken branch. Go see her. <gasps> we put our foot down and we roll over onto our backs. We take our arms out wide and we lift up our legs. Then we take our legs over to one side and our head over to the other, making a broken branch. We look all over this broken branch trying to find where Stella is. Where is she? See if you can take your legs up and over to the other side now and take your head round to the other side. All of a sudden, we hear a... <laughs> we sit up and we look really carefully and sure enough, we can see her. But it's very hard to see Stella when she's sitting on a branch because she looks a bit like a branch. But now she's crying, we can hear her. There she is, poor Stella. Coming up onto two knees. Take your leg out to the side and take your arm down to the side beside you. Reach up with your top arm, up and over your ear, coming into your stick insect pose. Oh, it's awful. There's no point in me going to the ball because nobody can see me. I'm always camouflaged by everything. Coming to your knees. Oh, Stella. When you go to a party, you should wear really nice, bright party clothes. Then everyone will see you. <gasps> Stella thinks this is a great idea, but we need to do a bit of a wash. So we cross our legs and we bring our hands back behind our heads and we wash Stella's best party clothes. Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, wisha, woo. Then we dry them in our special tumble dryer, bringing your fingers in front of your mouth and blow. <gasps> now Stella pops them on and shows them off. Coming up to two knees, arms out wide, drop down onto the other side, take your leg out to the side and stretch your top arm up and over your ear. Oh, I feel all right now. Shall we go? Yes, and there is only one way to arrive at the bug ball and that is in style, in a lady bug limo. Coming to your knees, fold all the way forwards. Now, crisscross your fingers and rest them on the base of your back. Now lift and lower your elbows like a little ladybird. We arrive at the party, sitting up. It's in full swing. Everybody's dancing. Stella stands and stiffens up. Um, the problem is I'm really good at copying everybody else because I'm a stick insect. But I'm not very good at dancing, just being myself, being natural. Oh, Stella, you'll be fine. Go on, go and have fun. You'll find your groove. But sure enough, Stella's not very good at just dancing as herself. She just copies everyone else. First, she copies the termites doing the twist. Jump your feet wide and twist. Then she copies the caterpillars doing the caterpillar dance. Coming down onto hands and knees. Press up into your dog pose. Come down to your knees. Drop down to your belly. Roll your shoulders up like a caterpillar. Try it again. Come back to your knees. Tuck your toes. Up to your dog. Back to your knees. Down to your belly and up like a caterpillar. Then she copies the beetles. They're on their backs doing some beatbox dancing. Coming up onto your bottoms, lying down on your back. Now, reach up and see if you can grab your feet. The beetles are having a great time wiggling around, doing their beatbox. <laughs> Stella is very good at copying them all. Yes, she would be so good if she could just dance naturally, be herself, find her own way of tuning into the music.
we decide to have a little rest and have a drink. We have some firefly fizz. Now we make a straw with our tongues curling up the sides like this. And we take a big suck in. Mmm, delicious. Now if you can't do that curling up with the sides thing, do this instead. Mmm, so refreshing and cool in our mouths. All of a sudden, landing in front of us, is a fairy god praying mantis. Coming up into a squat position, everyone. Sitting right the way back on your heels, taking your elbows inside your legs, joining your hands together like a fairy god praying mantis. Dearest Stella, wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others, let your light shine through. And with that, the fairy god praying mantis launches itself into the night. Ready for a jump? One, two, three, Whee! Oh my goodness me, that was awesome. And it seems to have really spoken to Stella. She feels ready to show what she can do. She comes to the dance floor, takes her position, takes her leg out to the side and her stick insect arm to the ground. Then she waves her antennae around and around and she puts her leg forward and bows to the ground. She comes on up to the other side, arms up wide down to the ground and leg up and long. She waves it around and around and around before she puts her leg front and to the ground. Stella is amazing when she dances and she's herself. She's captivating. Her confidence radiates. It's wonderful to see. Here comes Steve the spider. Standing up, legs a little bit wider, Bend your knees and make your fingers like spiders. Then bring them inside your feet, take them around the back and round the side and sit down. Um, I wondered, um, Stella, <clears throat> he's a bit shy. Um, could I, uh, could I ask, can I dance with you, Stella? Stella comes to her knees. <laughs> She opens her arms wide and she beams Steve her biggest stick insect smile, giving him a great big hug. Oh, yes, Steve, let's dance the night away. We'd better leave these two love bugs alone. So we sit back and we blow them a kiss. We hop on the back of the ladybug limo, folding all the way down crisscrossing our fingers at the base of our spine and lifting and lowering our elbows like ladybug winds. Then we find our bicycles back at the park, lying on our backs. We crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lift our legs to the sky and we pedal slowly first up the hill. Ooh, it's quite hard and then ooh, really fast as we go down the hill. Wow, look everyone, it's really dark. So we stand up and we tiptoe, 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 tiptoe inside, back into our bedrooms where we lie down. Ah, oh, blissfully in our beds. Oh, that feels nice. All snuggled up and comfy and cosy, lying in our beds. As we lie down, we remember the words of the fairy god praying mantis. Wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others. Let your light shine through. As we remember these words, these wise words, we think about the light inside of us. What colour is your light? Maybe you can close your eyes and see it now. 
as we feel that light inside of us, we know that when we are just being ourselves, that light shines brightly. It fills us with warmth. And wherever we go, we need never be afraid of what people think because we are just being completely ourselves. Feeling that light inside you now, let's bring ourselves back, breathing into it. Wiggling our fingers and our toes, we give our knees a hug and we roll onto our sides, slowly coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to see Stella the Stick Insect with me and for coming to the Bug Ball. That was great fun. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Peace out. Tickle Pixie. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. It's time to turn the light on in your imagination and enjoy your amazing mind. So, do what you need to do to get lovely and comfy. Find a space and lie down on your back with your arms down by your sides or on your tummy making a pillow with your hands to rest on. You decide which feels most comfortable. Now get settled. Do a wriggle and a fidget to make sure your body feels really happy and comfy. You don't have to be completely still. You can breathe and blink as normal. Just see if you can keep your body nice and still. Your eyes are open. Now that you're still, can you notice your breathing? Maybe you can feel it a little bit. In your chest. Maybe your tummy. At your nose and mouth. Can you hear it too? It might be very, very quiet, like a tiny whisper sound. See if you can hear it. I'll be quiet so you can try. That's it. Gentle breaths coming in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And this next time as you breathe out, let your eyelids softly close. Well done. Now, you have a big blank screen in your mind. See if you can imagine a little pixie standing right in the middle of it. That's right, a pixie. A small fairy-like creature. Think about how it looks. Does it have wings? What colour are its eyes? What's it wearing? 
It may be a girl pixie, or a boy pixie, or an animal pixie. You decide how your pixie looks. One important thing though, is that this is a friendly pixie. It's a good one. This pixie loves using pixie dust for tickling. Not the kind of wriggling, giggling and jiggling tickles. Just a light, fuzzy tickle. That kind of feels nice and relaxing. The tickle pixie sprinkles magic pixie dust on our body. And we feel it because of the slight tickly feeling that happens where it's been sprinkled. Let's see if we can notice the feeling when the tickle pixie sprinkles the magic pixie dust on us. Ready? OK. Let's be as still as we can and see if we can feel the little tickles. Here we go. The tickle pixie starts by sprinkling our feet. There's already a little tingle in our toes. Can you feel it? A slight fizzy feeling. It's moving all the way up through our feet and around our ankles. The pixie moves up, sprinkling the magic dust on our legs. Ah, now the warm tickly tingles are happening in our legs moving up over our knees and into the tops of our legs. They feel all warm and sparkly. We begin to smile as we notice the tickly feelings. Now the pixie sprinkles the magic tickle dust over the middle of our body, our hips, on our tummy and up across our chest. Our body feels the fuzzy tickles like we are full of twinkle lights. The tickle pixie carries on with the sprinkling. Now we feel the tickles travel all the way down our arms, right to the very ends of our fingertips. And now coming back up our arms again and over our shoulders. Now the fizzy feeling tingles through our neck and up into our head. We feel our face tingle with the tickly dust. It may even make our nose wiggle. Wow, what a magic feeling. Our whole body is tingling with sparkling tickle pixie dust. We feel fizzy and sparkly all over. The Tickle Pixie has done its job. You see it in your mind smile at you and blow you a sparkly pixie dust kiss goodbye. It disappears in a puff of magic dust and the screen in your mind is once again blank. You smile. Feeling happy that your body has felt the magic of the pixie dust. And without saying the words, you think a big thank you to your little pixie. It's time to return now. We come back slowly. See if you can notice the sounds around you. Feel where your body meets the ground. Have a good stretch, making your body long like spaghetti. Take a nice big breath in. Let your stretch relax and sigh out of your mouth. Gently open your eyes. 
and now just sit or lie where you are for a minute. How was that? Having the pixie dust sprinkled all over you. Maybe you can still feel it a little. Well done for giving yourself this time to stop, breathe and feel your body from top to toe tingly with magical sparkling pixie dust. I hope you come back soon. This is Jamie saying peace out.